What's up, nerds? And we're back with the Dragon Age 2 Warrior uh, walkthrough slash guide slash bunch of shit. But we have returned to the Black Emporium. We have finally gotten enough money to uh, buy the next Tome of Technique or Elixir of Technique in this uh, in this store. It's called the Elixir. There it is, right there. Okay, now we're broke again, but we're gonna get an extra skill point, so we might as well just utilize that. Chug, chug, chug. Chug the potion. Okay. Now, level 9's a really, really good level to uh, give another skill point on. Whoops. Because we do have a lot of good decisions we can make here. Uh, first and foremost, in the two-handed uh, class, Reaver, or Reaper, rather, really is worth taking because this is going to be your one of your mains and if you want you could also get the upgrades of Mighty Blue. I do not suggest Whirlwind as a cost 30 stamina. It costs the same as this so if you don't like Scythe you can actually change Scythe for Whirlwind if you want. I would advise against that and just keep Scythe or you can do this you could save the point because I believe level 10 you get Claymore Right, but I think there's also something in the uh, Berserker tree at level 10 that's worth picking up. Or is it 11? 13, 11, 13, 15, 15, 12, 14. Okay, I have, obviously I'm mistaken. So yeah, we just want Claymore at level 10, and we will be respecting a little later into uh, Act 2 as well. Because we'll be able to get things a little faster. And we'll do a, one more revise of the build for the Act 2. But yeah, we're pretty much on, on our way. Now, you don't have to spend it, but I'm going to spend it. Because why the hell not? It's there to be spent. And we're not going to be able to save it next level anyway. So I'm going to get Reaper. And leave it at that. Alright, now... I actually made a mistake earlier in the guide, and I'll put like one of those little uh, things by it, whatever the shit it's called. Uh, on Varric, you want to switch Isabella off. <clears throat> Pardon me. You want to switch Isabella to Meryl again. I forgot to do that, so. There you go. Oh, what the shit? It takes me a few times, huh? Okay, there you go. <laughs> now it's good. Now it's time to continue on. Okay, you got a lot of choices here for quests. And you're going to want to do them all anyway. But I'm going to go straight to the bone pit. Because I want to fight a big, strong boss. Show you guys how to kill it. I hope. <laughs> Just remember to keep all your allies on ranged. Alright, here we are at the Bone Pit. What it's a very, very inviting place. Not that there are many good places for that, I guess. Oh, what is it? We got another corpse, put it right in our pocket. I've lived all my life in Kirkwall. And until now, I've managed the to outlaw, like bearded here. beast. Wish I'd You'll find that some fights are harder than others, especially when there's not what we call fodder enemies in the uh, groups, which are the really, really low uh, hit point enemies. Those will keep your stamina up for a long time. But once we get improved Berserk and stuff, things will be uh, 
will flow a lot better, but that doesn't come to a level 11. So right now, you just gotta micromanage a lot more, so... Just do your micromanaging and make sure to, if you do get too low on stamina, to deactivate your, uh... To deactivate your Berserk, for sure. Pile of bones! Nothing. You know, As usual, we're going to be very thorough with all the loot. All fruit. Rubble. No, the bone pit's actually a big area for just one cave that you're going to be going in right now. Crate. Gauntlets. Those are probably of no use to us since we have the set item. Alright, let's get into the bone pit now. You're encountering nothing but dragons in here at this point in the game. So if you do have fire resist gear, you can wear it if you want. Since I am the tank, I'm going to equip my fire resist gear. Just checking if I have any other ones. Died in that mine. Good enough for now, guys. The higher your attack score, the more likely you are to hit an enemy with the full strength of a basic strike. That is pretty important, especially since you are playing Berserker. It does affect how much damage the Berserk is going to be able to uh, do as well. Attack is very important, especially if you are the Berserker, like I said before. Simply because you're not going to be using a lot of activated abilities. You're based off your common attack. Not quite at the point where we're exceptional boss killers right now. That was odd. The camera was all messed up for that. I couldn't seem to get a target going. Alright, so we killed the first dragon in here. Not too difficult. Now when you're using a uh, Berserk, you have to remember it will take 2 stamina for every enemy you're hitting. That means if you're hitting 10 friggin' dragons at once, it's taking 40 stamina every time you swing. So that's why you saw my uh, stamina go down so quickly. But once you start getting better equipment, that will supplement because you'll even be killing the... The normal and elites and stuff, you'll be killing those with ex increased speed, so you won't have to worry as much. But you have to, uh, still you have to monitor stamina at all times. Some boss fights you won't even be using Berserk, simply because of, uh, how long they are. But you'll probably be chugging a lot of stamina drops for those anyway. Every 
Every time I try to put my friggin' uh... I get stunned. pick up comma victory plus 8 health and 20 attack okay that is an upgrade for us we need the attack like I said berserk is uh Ber berserk depends on its basic attacks so we want full damage every time or try to get the highest amount of damage out of it so that is a smart investment statue dog out for this next section the dog makes a great little off tank and stuff like that so it's nice to just have him around he also seems to have a decent amount of health before he like unsummons or I don't know if he dies or unsummons and then I didn't use him as much in my rogue playthrough so I really didn't feel like I needed him Like I said, if you like having him around, definitely use him. He's worth using. He is another uh, meat shield, basically. He doesn't do much damage at all. Like, five damage, but... He'll keep the focus of enemies. The enemies do like uh, to hit on that dog for some reason. Gallows. Slave finger cuffs. Let's see what they do. I know they're tank items. But they might be better than what we have. I don't know where that. Skip what this dude's got to say. Can. You can go now. Bye. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Alright, we're not going to go up there that way quite yet. Because we have some uh, more of the cave to explore. And I think you can get another one of those rings we just got in this crate. You can, okay. Now you have two decisions with these rings. You can wear them yourself as a warrior, or you can give them to Meryl if you want her to have more health to cast. But right now, I think they're better than what I have, so I'm going to use them. Actually, I am going to give them to Meryl. Meryl might as well take them. Okay, Meryl. Congratulations, Meryl. You've gotten an upgrade. And you can definitely have both of them. 